It's been over two years since I last made a video on YouTube, but I'm coming back to YouTube now. The problem is software engineering has changed a lot in the last two years. It's getting harder to get a job as a software developer. It's harder to keep a job. And those that do have a job, most of them want to be doing something else. So it's time for a change. And in this video, I want to cover what I've been doing over the last couple of years, why I haven't really made any videos, and what the plan is for this channel going forward. So why haven't I made any videos in the last two years? Well, two years ago, I started at a startup and I'm still working there now. Uh, I work four days a week, which is great. I have that one day, which the plan was to make YouTube videos and to do my newsletter. The problem is, is that the videos that I've made on my channel so far, I would start by writing a script, doing word for word what I wanted to say, and that would take a good two, three hours. I would then sit down and record, stumble over my lines <laughs> over and over again. So that would probably be another two hours to record the video. And then I would spend maybe up to five hours producing animations and editing and getting it to a point where I was happier enough to put it live for everyone to see. But of course, that means it was taking me nearly 10 hours to create a YouTube video for what ended up being about 10 minutes after I've edited it all down, which, you know, if you've only got one day a week and you don't want to use up all of your weekends as well, that would be rather spent spending time with family, it doesn't leave an awful lot of time. So what I've come up with and what I'm doing for this video, I have a script, but it's literally just bullet points that I'm going through. And then I'm trying to think on the spot of what I'm gonna say, and hopefully this will come across as a bit more natural. Um, I know one of the comments that I had recently on my channel was that it's like I'm reading from a book, which essentially it's kind of what I'm doing. I'm reading almost like a blog post that I've pre-written. So I want to get away from making these highly scripted videos where I'm having to memorize every single word I want to say, or I'm having to read from a teleprompter. It does mean that I'm gonna to have to get a bit better at recording in front of a camera and thinking on the spot what I want to say. So apologies if these videos are a bit more scrappy compared to what I'm used to making, but hopefully I will get better at it over time. The other reason for the change is that software engineering has changed a lot in the last two years. And a lot of that is because of AI. Not only are companies expecting developers to use AI all the time to be more productive, they're also hiring less because they think that AI can do the job of junior developers and they don't need to hire anymore. They expect senior developers to produce more so they have smaller teams. People are finding it harder to get jobs as developers. It doesn't matter whether you're junior or senior, there's just fewer jobs in general. And the ones that are employed are either facing layoffs or they find because of AI, they're not really enjoying software development as much as they used to. My original intention for this YouTube channel was to help junior developers become senior developers by sharing some of the software engineering topics that you generally need to pass interviews and get promoted. And of course, that is still relevant. You still need to know these skills, but you could just ask ChatGPT what Solid is or what the design principles are, and it will give you something that's probably mostly correct. And to be honest, after 15 years of professional software development, I'm getting a bit tired of the constant grind of completing tickets sprint after sprint without really any end in sight. And when you combine that with the lack of job security and having to change jobs every couple of years, it gets pretty tiring. So my plans for this YouTube channel have changed. Instead of helping you get a job, get promoted, I wanna help you build projects. So many developers I know are very good at one thing. They're good at the front end or the back end or the database or they'll know DevOps, but very few know enough of everything to be able to produce an actual project by themselves. So I wanna help you take an idea build it and launch it, and hopefully monetize it as well. When job security isn't a thing anymore, we as developers need to be prepared to be laid off. We need to have a backup plan as it were. And even if you are lucky enough to stick at a job and not get laid off, chances are you'll get to a point where you'd rather be doing something else and you need that exit strategy. So I wanna help you use your skills as a developer to build an income that doesn't mean working a nine to five. This could be building desktop applications or mobile apps, or going down the micro SaaS route where you're building a small SaaS application that might bring in hundred grand a year. It's not gonna be the next Facebook, but it's gonna give you that income so you can do what you want. Of course, I'm not an expert at this. I have a YouTube channel, I have a course, I have sold software in the past, but 
at the moment I'm not making enough money to do this full time. I think last month I made less than £400 with everything I've got running in the background. But I'm hoping to produce applications, sell them and teach you how to do the same. So this channel is going to be more focused on the practical aspects of making applications rather than the skills that are only applicable if you're trying to get a corporate job. And to be completely transparent, I'm going to share my income reports for how much I'm making for YouTube, for courses, for all of the apps that I'm going to produce, uh, and I'm going to be sharing them on Patreon. So if you want to see a sort of behind the scenes look at everything that's involved in trying to be a solo developer, then you can follow me on Patreon and I'll be sharing everything there. Unlike some YouTubers, I'm not going to promise that I can make you a millionaire. I'm not going to tell you that by working on this project one weekend, you can earn 20 grand a month. That's just not possible. Some people might get lucky, but there are a lot of lies on the internet of people telling you how much they're making when they're actually not. Instead, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm working on. I'm going to show you the actual numbers of how much I'm making for those that want to follow me on Patreon and show you ways that you can earn an income on the side of your job or to replace your job as a developer. At the moment, I'm still working as a full-time software developer, but as with all developers, we don't know how long that's going to last. So I'd like to have a backup plan. And I think a lot of developers like you need a backup plan as well. So if this resonates with you and you want to learn how to build full applications, which hopefully could eventually make you some money on the side, then please follow along. For my Patreon subscribers, I'll be sharing all of my income reports as well as ad-free early access to all my videos and hopefully some mini courses as well to get you started in building your applications. I've already got a few subscribers already, so thank you. Your names are listed here. I'm going to be listing the names of all my subscribers at the end of my videos as an extra thank you. Please let me know in the comments if you're also interested in moving beyond the 9 to 5 as a developer and what sort of topics you might want me to cover. Thanks everyone. I'll see you in the next video. So I want to get away from these highly scripted videos that take ages to produce and instead do this sort of format where I'm talking to the camera. I haven't really got anything highly scripted. I'm just focusing on bullet points and ah, that's rubbish. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, da, 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 da. No. Oh. It's changed a lot in the last two years. Oh, itchy face. Developer, it doesn't matter whether you're senior or junior, there's just fewer jobs in general for people right now. That's...